Novel Suspects. Uh, villains are tricky to write, but here are the guidelines that I tend to follow. Um, first, it all comes back to the needs of your story. The purpose of an antagonist is to oppose the hero or heroine in achieving their goal, whatever that is. So, the antagonist can be something as simple as a blizzard, or as emotionally complex as the hero themselves. And technically, the antagonist doesn't even need to be a bad person by themselves. They just have to be invested in the events of the story in a way that pits them diametrically against the hero. They do need to be powerful, good at what they do, credible. That doesn't necessarily mean that they have to kill people, but in my books it, it helps. Um, and whether you design your villain to be sympathetic and human or completely inhuman and otherworldly is really up to the needs of your story too. Both of those approaches can be terrific. A uh, sympathetic antagonist can really challenge your readers and your hero to examine their own flaws and their own motivations. And on the other hand, there's something really deeply frightening about evil that's simple, unstoppable, and inhuman. And without giving away any spoilers, in Hairpin Bridge, I actually get to feature a little bit of both. So the story tests the heroine, Lena, in really distinct ways as she pushes toward her goal of finding the truth about her sister's death. So whether it's the Terminator or Hannibal, what matters is that the villain in your story be perfectly qualified to attack your protagonist and their weaknesses. So when designing your story's villain, I think start by looking at your protagonist's goal and reverse engineer from that. So you have a hero, they have a goal, what's the most difficult opponent or force that could possibly block them from achieving that goal? And that is probably your story's ideal villain right there. I'm Taylor Adams, I am the author of No Exit, and my newest thriller is Hairpin Bridge, which is coming to bookstores on June 15th. I hope you'll check it out.